Dogs. Come on. Today, Don't be as, such a like, hemophilia. As usual, today on Williams After Dark, we have that popular and well-known feature that is the Williams After Dark poll. Today on Williams After Dark, we have two metaphysical poets for you to choose between. Which one of these two entities are you going to pick? First, we have the great metaphysical poet, Rumi. Persian poet, was it 14th century? Thereabouts. There we have his opponent, George Harrison. Yeah, Liverpool, 20th century. The great metaphysical poet of today, looking ever so sane and spiritual in that picture right there. Which one of these two entities? Vote at Williams After Dark at Hutmill.com. George Harrison versus Rumi. No, Joe, you know a famous uh, Rumi quote that yeah. you like. What uh, is this quote? Divine okay. wisdom created the world so that all things in his knowledge might be revealed. Slower now, one more time for the audience. Divine wisdom created the world so that all things in his knowledge might be revealed. And now I have a quote from George Harrison that you can think about. <clears throat> we like to air condition, but the air's got no ozone ring. Still, they're chopping down the forests for McDonald's and the Burger King. Eating cows with such persistence doesn't offer much resistance to this cockamamie business. Yeah. Which one of these two... I have, a, I have a George Harrison quote, too. Please. I got my mind set on you. 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 All right, all right. <clears throat> That's actually a cover anyway, folks. But George yeah. Harrison, Rumi, two of the greats. Which one of these two entities, which one of these two metaphysical poets are you going to select? Vote right now. It's, at, it's one of those days you really can't go wrong with either of them. Yes. Vote. Yeah. Wait, no going? way you can have a wah-wah when you get two great choices like that. Exactly. And we're only going with the pledged delegates here. Williams After Dark, George Harrison versus Rumi. Williams After Dark at Hotmail.com. Register those votes. Folks, coming up in just a second, you're going to be treated to something the likes of which you've never seen. The Williams After Dark Bake Off. The first ever Williams After Dark Actually, Bake Off. Actually, you know, I'm quite interested in the Bake Off because, you know, having an interest in food because it's, it's little on fact, folks, but I... Uh, I actually studied uh, cooking under the uh, peculiar purple pine man at Porcupine Peak. In any case, folks, I will be the amateur. This has been a dream of mine for a while, actually. I will be the amateur, and I will battle against a well-known, um, internationally known chef, Bobby Bolin, who is from Weymouth. And so the two of us will be battling. And Joe, you're going to be the, you're going to be the host yeah. for the first time. A mm. little bit of a twist. You'll be joining the great mm. hosts of the past, like... Louis Anderson and the other yeah, ones. Yeah, or Richard Dawson, which means, you know, everybody has to kiss me. You know, but, you know, Frank, if you're going to be a chef, maybe you can make some better coffee. Folks, are you hungry? Because I am. I'll see you at the Women's After Dark Bake Off. Is that you, Santa Claus? We're back, folks, for the uh, first international <clears throat> uh, Weymouth uh, uh, Cook uh, Bake Off. Uh, I'm joined today by these two uh, uh, gastronomical luminaries. We have right here Mr. Uh, um, I'm actually a man who studied with some of the finest chefs in the world, including uh, Jack Tripper, um, Dom DeLuise, and Chef Boyardee. Mr. Uh, Bobby Bolin, how are you doing, Mr. Uh, Bobby Bolin? Uh, Joe, it's a pleasure to be on this show. Uh, I gotta say, being with Jack Tripper, I, I did get to know Mr. Angelino, and he's exactly like everyone else knows him. Mm. That's not an act. Yeah, it's yeah, a fine restaurant, and you know what? You've got to figure too. Working at a place, places like Angelino's and uh, Jack's Bistro, a far cry from the early days of uh, making those tuna subs at Rondo's. Absolutely, but you know you got to start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. We all have humble origins. I know somebody who was born in a manger. But uh, what will you be making for us now tonight, uh, Mr. Bowen? Um, going with a slight. Asian cuisine on the sandwich, uh, which you don't usually see Asian sandwiches. Yeah. I think because, you know, the staple of the Asian diet is rice, and it's hard to make sandwiches out of that. Yeah. I tried once, and it wasn't easy. Yeah, I, 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 I can understand your problem. Yeah, uh, the rice doesn't really hold together too well. Yeah, if you'd like to do a plug, it's in the way for your restaurant. Mr. Yeah, Boulin. the other Berlin restaurant, uh, we've got four locations around the world. Uh, yeah. We're in Paris, London, Dublin, and uh, right here in Weymouth. Yeah, that's true. You know, I've been to the Dublin one, folks, but never the Weymouth. You know, I guess you, know, you just can't drag yeah. me away from that donkey's up on uh, Route 18, I guess. But I'll have to stop in one of these days. And maybe I get some free stuff, I'm thinking. I don't know about that. Okay, well, maybe, right. then, I, maybe then just I won't, okay? Then I'm going to eat it at, at the donkey's then. Uh, and, and also we have, folks, a, a very familiar face here on the show. We have uh, Frank. How are you doing tonight, Frank? I'm, I'm doing good. That's good. I'm glad that you're good. So, Frank, uh, what are you going to be making for us tonight uh, with, the, uh, with the food and all that? Hey, I'm the host in this segment. Look at that. <clears throat> 
Well, I'll be making a special sandwich called the Whitman's Pond, but I think we spent enough time talking. You gotta serve somebody in. I've gotta serve some food in. He's gonna get served. Okay. Uh, so, so, is there a table for me to sit down at? That? I mean, if I don't have to cook, I'm, I'm not. Behind the podium. Behind the podium. Yeah. So, actually, without any further ado.